Brakji Hawa Brakata, Yahaw Sha Brakji Hawa Brakata, Yahaw Sha Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, An Offering is Required. Okay, again, an offering is required. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is the Most High. Okay, so this is our spiritual hierarchy, beginning with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the 144,000, which are all men. Okay, then you have what? <coughs> The rest of the elect, okay, which makes up men, women, and children. But the point is, an offering is required, okay? And this started with Yahweh trickling down to Yahweh Shai, trickling down to the 144,000. Case in point, Romans. Chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay, so the elect men, okay, and Lord will, we are within this concept. Okay, we sacrifice our bodies our youthfulness, our time slash effort, okay, for the hope of salvation, which will manifest, okay, in a physical kingdom on earth, okay, so beginning with the 144,000, okay, and Lord will, we are within that number, we make an offering. Okay, and our offering is what? Our bodies, our time, our effort, our youthfulness. Okay, now. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. And as they were eating, or eating, Yahweh took bread and blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Verse 27. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink you all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Okay, so Yahweh had to make an offering. Okay, to our Father Yahweh as well. Okay, so we make our offering to Yahweh and Yahweh Yahweh made his offering to Yahweh. Okay, and who did he die for? The nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Okay, and he was the sacrifice. Okay, he paid for his sins first and then our sins. Okay, and that concept is dealing with he died for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Okay, trickling down to the non elect. But the case and the point is Yahweh Shai offered, offered himself as well. Okay. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 28. So Mashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Okay. Again. Yahweh Shai offered up himself. An offering is required. Let's 
John chapter 3 and verse 16. For the Most High so loved the world, the world, okay? If you can receive this in the spirit, is referring to the nation of Israel, the world of Israel, okay? Beginning with the elect. <clears throat> that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him referring to the individuals okay in Israel referring to the elect of Israel okay should not perish but have everlasting life however the point is Yahweh made an offering okay and his offering was who? Yahweh Shai, for our sakes. Okay, so again, an offering is <clears throat> an offering is required. All right. Well, will you edify Shalom?